Hey, I'm Scotty and thanks so much for joining me in this sketching tutorial. I'm going to show you how to sketch this scene right here. It's really interesting, it has lots of things going on. Um, and I want to sketch with my new fountain pen. I got this Sailor fountain pen and it has a food end nib, which is a nib that bends up at the end. So we're going to be sketching from observation. So I'll start at the top here with the helmet. You can see straight away that this kind of pen is a bit more scratchy than my other pen that I was using. It's a bit sharper. Have you used this kind of pens before? Have you tried a fountain pen? And have you tried this sailor pen? Be interested to hear um, what you think of these pens. So I'm build, looking at that shape and I'm building around here. Um, and remember if you make mistakes that's totally fine. It's just part of the expressiveness of this type of sketching. And we can see the shoulder here comes about there. So I'm trying to find a silhouette of this shape, of this figure. So it's the back here and then the next thing is the shoulder. So let's go down to here, that would be the shoulder, about one and a half heads to the elbow here. Bends up and then the other arm comes across like that. So when we get to the hand, we have to have that back of the hand shape, which is like a tapered square. And then three points is the little gaps where the fingers come out of the hand. But I'm just going to give little gestures to where the fingers are. Now I'll go back to the hand here, so the arm here. And this arm comes down to about there. So I'm just comparing the arms, making sure it looks right from the way that I've drawn it. So if some things are off, it's okay. As long as it looks right on here, it doesn't have to be perfectly matching the sketch. So the reference. And those little fingers. Now the front of this mask is about there. The face, mask comes around there. Face shape and the top of the visor. We're going around here. Okay, I'm being a bit more careful around this section. Um, when I get down to the bottom near the bike, I'll be sketching a little bit more loosely. So the neck comes over here. I better draw the shoulder in. It's the arm, one and a half heads from the shoulder to the elbow. Okay, let's get that silhouette of body. Just gonna have a guess here. Then the arm down. Shape of the hand is something like that. Okay, then I'll draw this the t shirt of this lady. And the next thing to draw is this top section of this bike. It's a really nice shape here. There's the handle there. There's another handle here. And then this front part of the bike goes around here. Just drawing the outside of those shapes. Now I can go in, continue the body down because I can see where it fits. Okay, so for the crotch to the shoulder is about the same to the top of the ankle, so that looks about right. There and then let's just add this detail here. And then the other wheel comes to about here. Up around here. Now just have a look back to see if everything's about right. From here to here the wheels roughly comes up to about there. So I can add in this. part of the wheel. It's nice and dark in there and this line comes across. See because of this pen I can make really nice thick lines. So good and thin lines like this. Ok 
Okay, and then the light. So I'm imagining there's a line down there, right on the front. So I'm not as concerned with getting at the right shape compared to that, just so it looks right on the bike that I've drawn. And her other foot comes down here. And now we can draw her legs. So I've got to double check here. Let's see, one, two, three heads right there. And then if I double that, so that would be above the ankles. So go down, the ankles will be there. So that meant that if I had the dress coming down the wrong spot, I could just make the legs longer to fit it in the proportion that I've done. So using this pen was really, really nice. I could get very different dynamic lines here. So now I'm gonna add a bit of a watercolor wash on the top. Okay, I've got a Winsor Newton number six. Okay, so I've got some Keritake watercolors that I've added to this palette. It's gonna water this down quite a bit. This is burnt sienna for some skin tones. I've chosen a smaller brush because um, it doesn't have as much water in it and for this kind of line and wash technique if you have too much water this this paper doesn't actually handle it very well so I think it's wise to not get too carried away with the watercolors. Leaving a bit of white there keeping it very light a dark blue and then adding a little bit of violet Some orange, some lighter blue, uh, some highlights, just some shadows around there. Darker blue with a little bit of black. Now I'm going to add some shadows because it's dried. Another legs there. Okay, now, so now I've got a Posca pen. It's actually a new one. I'm going to add some highlights. Nice one across here. So there you go. That is my first sketch using the Sailor Fountain Pen. Let me know if you have any experience using this pen. I'll put this real time on my Patreon for you to check out there. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.